My next guest, Mick Tindall, was part of England's winning Rugby World Cup team back in 2003. He has been very busy during lockdown, not only sharing homeschooling duties with his wife, Sarah, but also getting on his bike for a cause very close to him and his family. It is lovely to see you. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. And you have recovered from this bike run. Gosh, what was it? Was it 137 <laughs> kilometres? Wow. Um, yeah, it was 137 kilometres, which isn't really the issue. It's the 3,700 metres of climbing, yes. which becomes the slight issue of finding that around uh, the Gloucestershire Hills without just going up and down the same hill, which unfortunately we ended up doing. Um, my bottom hasn't quite forgiven me yet, but uh, I'm sure it'll get over at some point. I was going to say that would be very sore on your little bottom. <laughs> that would be very painful, very painful indeed. But do you know what? For an amazing cause and something that you, you know, it is very close to you, isn't it? Yeah, my dad's had Parkinson's for nearly 20 years now and, um, you know, what to watch how it's affected his, uh, his life and how it's changed him. Um, you know, he used to be taller than my mum. He's not as tall as my mum anymore. And, um, you know, he's, he's had other issues off the back of, off the back of his Parkinson's. And, um, and my sort of thing that I always sort of tag it onto is I don't want to see if we can find a cure and we can stop another, uh, son or daughter having to watch what I've had to watch with my dad, the guy who taught me, you know, everything about sport, uh, competition. Um, if you, do, if we can make it that no one has to watch their parent, their person they look up to go through it then um it's always worth getting on a bike and just head down and pedaling put your gum shield in and grind your teeth and we'll get on with it and just go for it and that's what he taught you as well isn't it it's such a cruel cruel disease have you been able to see him though mike because obviously he's really really vulnerable and been having to shield and everything is he have you been able to see him at all um i haven't seen him uh, as yet i am going up to see them tomorrow for the yes. first time um <laughs> I've had the comedy phone calls, FaceTime calls, <coughs> where they can't get their heads in the screen. Um, so I bought, we've, we've tried different devices to try and make it a bit easier, but we, we've managed to have phone calls of, of FaceTime and, and Skype and things like that to get to see them, but I'm actually going to go see them for the first time tomorrow. Fortunately, my brother is close by, um, so he has been around to see them twice whilst sat in the garden, and if they need help with their shopping or anything they can jump out and get it um they've been real really well looked after by sainsbury's to be fair in terms of with their vulnerable and getting them their slots for delivery so um they're, they're frustrated though i don't think my dad's really been out since the 8th of march um the occasional dog walk uh, apart from that he's yeah they've been in full lockdown Oh, I know, it's really, really hard. That'll be very emotional for all of you, you know, just for just seeing, I mean, I, I can't wait to see my own parents. And that, it, it is, it's been, it's been tough. That has been, I think, the toughest thing of all of this, is that especially when, you know, when, when family aren't too well and you want to be with them and you want to make sure that they, that they are OK. That, that's the thing. And, and, but the thing that you can do is, is do, the, do the bike run and, and raise money and raise the profile. And that's, that's fantastic. That's you doing your bit. Yeah, I mean, it, it's tough. It's been tough for every charity. I think, you know, it's been tough for every business. It's, been, it's just all around been a, a very hard hard situation. Um, so, yeah, anything you can do to, to try and raise those funds. And it, it, for me, it's obviously easy because all I have to do is look at my dad, speak to my dad, and then your, your energy is, uh, is you're recharged and ready to go again. So, um, yeah, it, it's – I can't wait to see them. I, I know it, it's, it has been – probably nearly four or five months now since I last saw them. So I'm looking forward to it yeah. and just having a good old catch up in the nope. doctor. You're the same as absolutely everyone else. It's been such such a long time. Zara and the girls met you at the end, met you at the end there. Just to, and, and also you had you had Chris Hoy's support as well. So that's pretty good. And like you say, thinking about your dad just kept you going up that hill. Just kept you going. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Uh, we did the raid Pyrenean la last year, which was uh, from the west to the east coast of France across the Pyrenees. and. There's a very long hill called the Tourmalet, and uh, for the first time ever, I was actually cursing my dad for having this disease on a 35-kilometre hill that went up about 1,400 metres because um, I was in such pain. But uh, I think the support that we've had through, you know, as you said, Sir Chris Hoy, Austin Healy, Will Greenwood, uh, Kirsty Gallagher, Amy Williams, Ian Bolshaw, uh, Lee Westwood, they all jumped on and, and played a massive role on, on the Zwift side of it. So we had a 1,000 riders uh, in total, either virtually or on the roads. And, you know, hopefully we've hit about a quarter of a million quid, which 
That's which great. is just incredible. It's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. It'll make such a big difference. Now, look, this morning, um, we were going to have you on earlier, but you were a bit busy because you had to do the school run. How has that been going? I mean, because obviously you've been homeschooling, but now the little one's back at school. Was that a difficult decision or did you, was she just desperate to get back? Um, yeah, look, you, you weigh it up and I think the school that she's at have done a fantastic job um, and, what, and how they prepared. Uh, but I think she was ready to go back. She was yeah. so missing her friends and, and missing that interaction. And um, I'll always remember her face coming out the first day. She just had a blast catching <laughs> up with everyone and seeing everyone. So, um, yeah, it, it was a bit of a, a no-brainer for us in, in terms of not just her well-being and mental health well-being but for us as well as yeah. homeschooling I think it was uh, I think it was definitely needed for sure now there's going to be your ninth wedding anniversary soon is it not next month will you be able to have yeah. a party will you be able to celebrate who can tell I don't know yet at the, the moment I'm sure we can I'm sure we could roll it over for the 10th um but uh, yeah we'll hopefully we'll be able to do something you're just going to have to wait and see, it's obviously 30th of July next year, so uh, next month. So we'll have to wait and see what we can do and what we're allowed to do. So it's quite good with the with the uh, with the restaurants opening. We might be able to get a date night in, so that'd be nice. Gosh, remember them. Remember them, Mike. Remember, remember yeah. when we actually just took all that for granted, just being able to go for you know for a drink and a and a meal, and now it would be like an amazing thing to do. It's weird, it's, isn't it? It's, it? You actually look forward to it. You don't, not, you don't normally ever plan a date night, do you? Like, right, should we go out for dinner tonight? And it's just you can do it instantaneously. Whereas now, it's because it's coming, you have to plan. You're planning a week in advance. It's like the biggest thing in, your, in the last three months of your life. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Good. Well, you make sure you have a great time. I hope your wee bottom gets better soon. And it was all, of course, <laughs> for a fantastic cause, an amazing cause. And give, give, my, give my love to your dad. It's a tough old time he has without, without seeing you all. So I hope, yeah, I hope you have a, a great time seeing him and the kids enjoy seeing their granda. It's great to talk to you, Mike. Thanks ever so much. Thanks, Lorraine. Thanks for having me on. Oh, thank you.